Welcome to SafeCalculation.com. For any inquiry, you can email us SafeCalculation at gmail.com. WhatsApp slash call per 6282114483491. Or you might visit our website www.safecalculation.com. Before we continue, don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel, SafeCalculation.com. Okay, today's topic is design of gantry crane structure. The this this the gantry crane structure normally used for the shipyard and harbor. The following is the info data crane capacity, weight of crane, weight of crane beach, shell weight of the rail, width of wall weight, lead load, light load, height, a number of wheels. This one is the wheel spacing, so you can change uh, based on the length of your uh, crane girder or crane uh, beam. The impact factor, uh, deflection factor, and then also the design of the steel, the material steel you are using either the grade is the EA36 or uh, uh, the high tension one. So three, four, five, three, five, five megapascal okay uh, you may check the book also the ribbon is a bs5950 okay for the building uh, of uh, steel and then the lock calculation is a, a vertical lock here like this the maximum static will not not due to input so all, all these the the black text one is the automatically uh, getting the result so you don't need to change uh, unless all, all the red text this one uh, you need to change uh, based on your uh, current design so you can change whatever you want uh, but don't change this one uh. okay and this is the reaction uh, uh, in a direction uh, reaction B maximum reaction you will get the horizontal load and then this one is the design of the gantry crane uh, so this design of the gantry crane the, the weight wave and thickness yeah if you change uh, at this side one uh, if you change uh, you see here one to five right so if change to be one meter and then will be automatically even the result also will be automatically so you don't need to change the the, the black uh, value here uh, the following you just focus on this direct but one thing that you need to double check the all the formula on the book okay so i have uh, identified the uh, page number and then the section uh, part of the books also you may check on the inside the these uh, rules okay the and then after that you check the seal capacity moment capacity uh, check for combined bending compressor stress in extreme fever uh, okay the one the section part of the book also here so this one is the compression uh, compressive strength uh, it's not more than the one so if the more than the one and then this one will be they will tell you whether you change the thickness or whether you you change the the, the width so it depends on you check for longitudinal stress also and then check for combine check for com uh, deflection so deflection is the global deflection is 18.3 uh, okay, because this one is the level is still uh, uh, meet the requirement, so you don't need to change anything. Lah. Okay, uh, this one is the Kringer, the welding calculation, design of bearing stiffener. Okay, uh, okay, uh, so all the rest you, you call a satisfactory, satisfactory, uh, satisfactory. Eh? can see the satisfactory here but let's say that you are going to uh, change change the the girder to become smaller and you can see here whether pass or not uh, or either fail so I put 500 here 200 here and then make it the same thickness but the, the section modulus will be so uh, you could have it uh, unsafe Okay, unsafe. Okay, buckling resistance unsafe. Unsafe. You can see here, right? Unsafe. Unsafe. So, uh, this one also not safe. Fails in deflection. Okay, revise the thickness. 
okay so you need to change the uh, profile uh, good here to meet with the requirement okay let's say one two thousand of you five hundred and then four hundred fifty and then this one becomes satisfactory okay no more uh, answer even this one so all this one it will be automatically you don't need to change but uh, you need to uh, see the book also lah, okay so that you are familiar with the formula you are familiar with the uh, uh, some other input and data okay okay so here you're gonna liability statement uh, liability statement www.calculation.com as meticulous stroke to assure the accuracy and quality of this template and software they are designed to significantly reduce the template user's precise set of time or software user working time. However, there are numerous scenarios which could affect the result of them from this template and software. For instance, the input data could be corrupt, the spreadsheet or software uh, could be improperly modified, or some other uh, unforeseeable condition may occur. Therefore, the template or software user is required to independently, independently verify that the all aspects of the spreadsheet or software are working properly. www.sipcalculation.com assume no liability for template or software users, including the result of the note of time okay you can might notify us at the sql page at gmail.com okay so legal uh, disclaimer statement all template software notes documentation facts and other information are provided as it is without warranty of any kind either as friends or in flight yeah in flight including without limitation fitness for a particular purpose or performance by using the this template software or acting any information included within this website, you agree to ensure the injury for any risk of performance or lack of performance, including damage to any data or damage property. Neither uh, the webmaster, site owner, agent, nor any third party so be able to you. So be able to you for any use of this template software or content, including any inability to use for its performance for any incidental or consequential damage or any claim by any other third party so this one must be engineered to evaluate the, this formula also okay uh, don't forget to again don't forget to subscribe our youtube channel safecalculation.com thank you very much for watching and see you for the next topic Bye-bye.